Once again, I am here with Joey Ryan. And once again tonight, Joey Ryan, coming up, you are in the ring with the champ, Jesse Sorens. And only tonight, it's a coal miner's glove match. You know, Pat, Jesse Sorensen's toughness is no secret. In fact, he is one of the toughest guys in professional wrestling, and that's a well-known fact. So I know that Jesse is not sweating a coal miner's glove match. But you know what they say. They say no glove, no love. So Jesse, I want you to know something. Your toughness isn't going to save you when I slide that glove onto my hand and I feel the tightness wrapped around my fist because I'm not bringing love. No, I'm bringing pain and I'm bringing torture because Joey Ryan will fulfill his destiny and will be the Paragon Pro Wrestling Champion. And that's coming up on Paragon Pro Wrestling. The following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the Paragon Pro Wrestling Championship. And here we go, title on the line. There you see it. Paragon Pro Wrestling gold on the line in our main event. Joey Ryan knows he has a huge opportunity. Not everyone gets a second chance. And he's not rushing in. He is really trying to slow the pace. But he just gets struck by the champion, who is an incredible physical specimen. Wait, Joey Ryan with brass knuckles. Jesse Sorensen hit in the face. Not like this! No! He's got the belt. Sorensen is out. He's not moving. We have a new champer, don't we? The winner of this match by disqualification. And still, Paragon Pro Wrestling Champion, Jesse Sorensen. The right call was made. Sorensen holds on the gold. But for how much longer? From Hollywood, California, Joey Ryan. Joey Ryan thought he had gotten away with one using Nux. Last time he wrestled for the Paragon Pro Wrestling Championship. The hand came down on the referee for the three count. Joey Ryan had his hands on the title. Second official came out, overturned the decision, and that leads to this. You want to use an object, Joey Ryan, you're going to have to climb to get it. And it just might be done unto you. Do unto others as they say. Here we go. Coal Miner's, Coal Miner's Glove is one of those legendary matches in the world of pro wrestling. And we're going to have one here in our main event. And his opponent... He is the Paragon Pro Wrestling Champion, Jesse Sorensen. A lot of controversy last time these two went out and a lot of questions at the end of the broadcast. Who was the Paragon Pro Wrestling Champion? Both champion Sorensen and challenger Joey Ryan look to leave no doubt tonight. And there he is, the Paragon Pro Wrestling Champion, Jesse Sorensen. He has fought all comers. He did not hesitate to agree once he found out that commissioner jeremy blanchard made this a coal miners glove match he was happy to put the title on the line and agree to this matchup but todd all the rules are out that coal miners glove it's on top of that pole what's going to happen here the rules of this match are pretty simple it's still one fall to a finish a pinfall one two three submission is going to change the, the championship that's how you win the match but if you can climb up if you can grab that coal miners glove that's loaded it's got metal bracing along the outside you can use that as a weapon joey ryan in essence looking to do and there you get a good shot of it that coal miner's glove heavily weighted and it can turn out your lights in a hurry will it lead to history being made and joey ryan claiming the gold or will the champion give joey ryan a taste of his own medicine knock his teeth down his throat and hold on to the gold yet again here we go title on the line coal miner's glove this is gonna be fun 
Not fun for the two competitors, no. though. No, this is going to be great to watch, but somebody better have a great dental plan. Joey Ryan going right for that that glove immediately. Good sound strategy, but Sorensen was expecting that. And that's going to be a lot of this matchup is guys trying to jockey for position to get that glove because once you have it, Todd, it completely changes the odds. You're like, it shifts it from, you know, one to one, nice even in that match that we've seen to 101 to your favor. Yeah, it is in essence... Money in the bank as, as, as the champion now. He's got revenge on his mind as well. He was not cold by Joey Ryan. We thought he had lost the title, wasn't the case. But you gotta think the champion is gonna fight with more fury to hold onto it in this coal miners glove match than perhaps ever before. Well, this is why you have to respect Jesse Sorensen as the Paragon Pro Wrestling Champion. He'll fight your fight, he'll wrestle your match, he'll do whatever he has to do to go toe to toe with you. And you know, he has so much pride, Todd Kennelly, that he is just beating Joey Ryan around this ring. A little, a little taste in the, a little thanks for those brass knuckles to the face just, just so, so recently. And when, when Jesse Sorensen, the champion, last wrestled in a matchup where he could throw the rules out the window, he and, and Wes Briscoe victorious over Hammerstone and Chamberlain. So the champion, although he's got tons of integrity and heart and he usually plays by the rules, he can, he can get dirty when he needs to. Yeah, but Todd, check this out. There are no rules, <laughs> right? This is a coal miners glove match. This is the, the match that settles score. For those of you who aren't familiar with the coal miners glove match, this goes back nearly, or over, four, just about 40 years, 1972, in Eugene, Oregon, up in the storied Portland wrestling territory under Don Owens. It was Dutch Savage who came up with this. And we on here, Joey... Uh, and the champion has to close the gap because Joey had a big lead on him there, was going to try and get it. We had, to your point, Pacific Northwest, and it, it has been an institution in wrestling. Some of the greats, the likes of Blackjack Mulligan, oh Dusty my. Rhodes, Sting, Jake the Snake oh. Roberts, have competed in this style of match, lived to tell the tale. But this time, championship on the line. Joey Ryan slammed him on the stage and making a sprint, an all-out sprint to try and get the glove. That stage, there's no padding up there. There's no safety net. There's no no anything. Jesse Sorensen right on it, and Ryan just not fast enough. Sorensen able to get there. Now is he going to climb up and go for that coal miner's glove? The champion very close, but struck off. Whoa. Now you talked about it in the early going. Joey Ryan immediately went for it. He called it a good strategy. But if you don't have your opponent in a compromising position, this is the result. The champion laid out on the floor. Joey Ryan wasn't laid out enough, and now the champ is paying for it. Well, the champ is out. He's on the hardwood. He, I mean, he spilled. He spilled bad. Joey Ryan has an opportunity to grab that coal miner's glove, but he's going to stay on the offense and just start taking advantage of the damage done to the champion. You have to have your opponent in a compromising position. If not, you leave yourself open to a counter, and you could fall from great heights as you try to commandeer that glove. The champion now sending the... The challenger sending the champion back inside the ring and another opportunity perhaps for the challenger to get his hands on that glove and you got to admit he has come closer more times than the champ we well, have to wonder too if is that desperation does jesse Sorensen think he can beat joey ryan without the glove he wants to get, get a little payback but ultimately he just wants to well he's still going to go for the glove he's not above a little payback and i can't say i blame him after getting clocked last week but Oh, this is bad news for the challenger, Joey Ryan. What a superplex. Joey loves to be in that penthouse level, but he came all the way crashing down to the basement, to the sub-level, and a high-impact move. Both guys feeling the effect, and it pretty much takes it back to square one. Whoever gets to their feet first might have the best shot at the glove. But you're right, it does still come down to a pinfall or submission with the championship on the line. Both competitors are hurt. This just shows, I mean, how, how much they're putting their body on the line. This is how much it means to be Paragon Pro Wrestling Champion. Both willing to sacrifice themselves to fight so hard to risk career-ending injuries. I mean, trading blows back and forth, but Todd, once that coal miner's glove gets pulled into the equation, I mean, that's going to knock somebody out in one shot. Both guys trade more than Wall Street. Shot after shot by both men. The pace. Both guys thinking clothesline. Both guys hit the canvas hard and heavy. Champion and challenger are down, and something's got to give. Sorensen in incredible pain. You can see that etched across his face, and they're both. I mean, we were here just a moment ago. 
both men on their backs on the mat. They are giving it their all. Todd Kennelly, I'm just going to say it right now. Respect to both competitors, whomever comes out on top as Paragon Pro Wrestling Champion. They have given it their all. I'm just so glad that the title was not tarnished. I'm so glad that it, the, the decision was overturned. But Joey Ryan may find himself the champion nonetheless because he's going to get it. He's, he's got, got it. the glove. He's got it. Oh, my God. Todd Kennelly, this is it. We're going to have a new champion. Joey Ryan got the glove, but that roaring elbow knocked it out of his hands, and Sorensen's got to capitalize. And the, and the glove now, there you see it laid on the mat. It's in play. Fumble on the play. The defense going to recover here. No. Sorensen looking for it. Joey's got his hands on the glove. It's a scramble. Who's going to come up with it? Who's going to leave with the gold? It's all a fight for the glove right now. Chop there, Sorensen gets it. Can he get it on? What a struggle. Boy, it's like a tug of war now. The glove being contested, the title being contested. What a match, what a main event. Two bulls going head to head right there. No, oh no, Jesse Sorensen gets the glove and point it away, takes out the referee. Oh, Joey Ryan has those brass knuckles. Oh no, come on. But Sorensen's got the glove. We both guys loaded for bear. Both guys have the heavy artillery. Who's going to pull the trigger first? It's Joey Ryan. Joey Ryan tucks the knuckles into his tight, hooks that far leg. Oh my God, not like this. My goodness, he did it. Damn it, he did it. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner and new Paragon Pro Wrestling Champion. Joey Ryan. And you can truly say that the former champion now, Jesse Sorensen, probably had no idea what hit him. He thought he had the match won, he had the glove. You knew he, he thought he was one shot away from retaining the title. Joey Ryan pulls the knucks out of his knee pad. He pulled the trigger first. He pulled and the he trigger first, he cheated. He had brass knuckles, Todd Kennelly. This is a coal miners glove match. Not a brass knuckles match. This is not how the Paragon Pro Wrestling Championship is meant to be defended. It's well, disgusting. When the former champ wakes up, he's going to be in a wide awake nightmare. I don't think this one's going to be overturned. Dubious fashion, yes. Bringing Sleazy back, yes. But Joey Ryan will now put that title around his waist. He is the new Paragon Pro Wrestling Champion. We usher in the era of sleaze.